I treat most things in life. It's like I never go to the doctors unless it's that really That is sensible. Bad. That is very good advice. No. That's brilliant advice well, for anyone is, listening. Though. Never go to the doctors. Unless it's really bad. But that's why a lot of people, you know, um, die because they don't want to bother the doctor or they're mildly embarrassed or they don't know, um, symptoms, bad symptoms. Go to the doctor if, 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 you, if you're not sure about something. Like, you were terrified to go and have your prostate. Still not been. Not doing it. Why not? I wish you wouldn't talk about it, because now Suzanne will listen to this, and she'll go, oh yeah, you haven't been, and start dragging it up again. But why are you worried about a, a little, uh, a, a qualified I doctor? I don't know what they're doing up there. What? They what just pop the... are we in? They... <laughs> what are you talking about? They pop their finger up. That's what I mean, though. Why? Why are they still using the index finger? <laughs> what, would you prefer the forefinger or the thumb, would no. you? No, what I mean is, we've got- Or a thumb on a stick, some kind of thumb on a stick. You, you yeah, would you prefer it to a be- A mechanical thumb. A robot okay. thumb. Why isn't it just a little camera? Well, well they well, put the camera up if, if they initially discover something. But just put the camera up straight away. If no, I'm they don't the need visit. to. They pop the finger up, feel that the prostate isn't swollen, wiggle it around a little bit, up your, uh, 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 up your back passage. They, what I are you worried about? I, I don't think they, they need to do are that. Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed about being in a room with your trousers around your ankles and a little fellow popping this? A little bit, yeah. Why? And the other thing is, it's not just that, is it? So, <laughs> you go in there, they check your heart out and that, which to me is the most important thing, because that's what keeps you going, isn't it? <laughs> yeah! Right? You've got to go there. You yeah. sat on the bus, stressing out, thinking, oh, in less than half an hour, I'm going to have a finger up the arse, right? <laughs> And they go no. in, they check your heart, they <laughs> probably check your testicles and that. What's up with that? They check your testicles, yeah. That's yeah, but it's all building, and you, you've sat there going, oh, soon that'll, that'll be happening. Yeah. And that's what puts me off. So if they just came round when you were asleep, <laughs> Suzanne just let them in and goes, he's over there, right? Yeah. And they crept up and went, <laughs> bang, you know what you're doing? I just don't understand why they don't teach you how to do it yourself. How can they- <laughs> Wow! How can they teach- Imagine you, squatting in a corner, with one hand on your bollocks and the other finger up the arse, going, it seems to be alright. Carl, you don't understand the phrase, a stitch in time saves night. I don't think you should be doing any kind of invasive medical research in your own human body. But- but then- Who knows what trouble you're gonna cause? No, but then at you least- You would get stuck. Yeah. You would get stuck. Susanna come out, your fist would be up your own arse. <laughs>